Hello and welcome to Mandy Makes. Today I'm going to show you some of my favourite natural organic makeup. Okay, one of the first things that is really good to always start with before you put on your makeup is a really good primer. And I love this one from Anika. It is an Australian brand, it's one of my favourite brands of makeup and most of the things I'm going to show you today are from the Anika range. So this primer goes on super light, super easy and I've found that it makes a really really big difference to helping my makeup to stay on all day long. And it is certified organic so I love that as well. Next step is concealer, every girl's best friend. This concealer from Anika is also organic. I find that I do need to kind of build it up a little bit to cover under eye circles and cover spots but it is nice and light goes on easy and I've had this tube for months now and it is still going so that's really awesome and lasts a really long time. I use this mineral foundation from Panika. It is the number two strength colour and there are actually two ways that I use this mineral foundation. So one of the ways that I use this is as a liquid foundation. So I usually dip my foundation brush into a little bit of coconut oil. I put a little bit of the foundation, the mineral foundation into my lid and mix it all around and it makes a nice liquid foundation. It covers everything up, it's amazing. This mineral foundation is a concealer as well, that's what they claim it to be and it is really good at covering and completely smoothing your skin tone. So when I want a bit more coverage, I make it into a liquid and then I put the powder over top. Normal day to day makeup, I just use it um, as powder with my Anika brush here. I just use it as the mineral powder all over my face, it's because it's so good Next step is bronzer and once again I'm using another Anika one and this is a number one sunlight. I really like this because I have fair skin, particularly in the winter time. This one you can put on really lightly and you can slowly build it up for a little bit more colour in the summer months when you want some more. Sometimes if I'm feeling like I want to put a little bit extra makeup on, maybe for a wedding or a special occasion, I add some more blush to give a little bit more colour. I've used, I'm using this one called Blooming Nude number 3. It's actually, it actually looks really dark but you can put it on really lightly and really sheer as well and considering I have quite fair skin as it is, um, I was a little bit nervous when I got this and saw how dark it was but yeah it actually goes on really nice and light and I really love the colour that it gives. For the eyes, I've actually got two brands of products that I like using for my eye makeup. Firstly I use um, Whisper number no. 2 from Anika as an all over shadow and I really love their flat brush as well and I use that for putting it all over my lid as a base colour. This Whisper has a really nice shimmery flat colour to it. It really picks up the light and reflects it and it's just a really beautiful natural light colour. Usually after that I use this duo by Air Perez. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. It's called Very Important. I love the colours in this, particularly the kind of goldy shimmery colour. I use that um, further around the corner and the crease of my lid. And then I use this darker colour here with a small angled brush and I use that to just do um, above my eyelash line there. I kind of use that instead of eyeliner. I'm not a huge fan of um, using black um, eyeliner, dark eyeliner. So I really like using this brown one because it just keeps everything still looking quite neutral and natural looking which I really love. Okay lastly mascara, I've got two here that I really love. I've got this one by La Vera. It's an intense volumizing mascara. I really like that one for normal day to day use, it's really great. And then my, really my favourite favourite one is on by Air Perez and this one's actually a waterproof mascara, I'm wearing it now. It's my favourite, it lasts all day long, it gives a nice volume and lift to my eyelashes, it makes them look a little bit longer which is always nice and it truly is waterproof, like this stuff only comes off when 
I wash my face at night time, even rubbing my eyes during the day. It does not smudge, it does not flake or come off in little bits and pieces. So I really love this. Okay, lastly for the eyes, brow pencil, which I've only really discovered. I've never really used brow pencils up until kind of late last year. This is another one from Anika. It's called Blonde Bombshell and it's really nice light color. Okay, lastly for lips, um, I've got my lip liners that I really love. Um, I've got this one here called Sugar Plum number three and also this one called, it's number four, Nude Delight. Really nice if you just want a nude sheer light looking lip color. Now I love putting that nude one together with Anika's nude lipstick which is called Naked Ambition. It looks quite dark here but it's actually a really nice light nude. Color. My other favourite lipstick that I use is by Air Perez and it's a really nice sheer pink one called Love. It's got natural rose oil in it so it's really moisturising. It's a colour I'm using right now. It's kind of my usual everyday lip colour that I love because it's just really sheer, really light and really natural looking. There you have it. That is the natural organic makeup range that I love to use in the product that I really like. I usually purchase them online because there's not a local store around me that sells them. So either eBay has them or there is an Australian based website called shopnaturally.com.au which I love to buy a lot of my products from. I'm not getting sponsored by them. Um, just letting you know that that's a great place I buy them from and they're always reasonably priced as well. Let me know in the comments below if you have a favourite brand of natural or organic makeup that you like to use. I'm always on the hunt for some new products and brands to try, so I'd love to hear your suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you can check out some more weekly Mandy Makes videos on healthy living. I will see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.